Good afternoon, dear partners, investors, everyone who is watching. Some time ago, we were filming pouring of concrete, and today it is 11 o'clock, and it has been completed in the administrative and utilities building. Then there will be the finishing coding, but the main volume of work has been completed. We can say that the main work concerning pouring of the floor has been completed. And speaking about access from 1 to 17, and then we just need to pour access from 18 to 23, and all of the work will have been completed. Let's assess, is that slow or is that quick? The company that we concluded a contract with on the 20th of August, it's been 1.5 months and a huge volume of work has been completed. To tell the truth, it is very pleasant. It is very pleasant to work with such a team. It is very pleasant. But it is not the only reason why we have gathered here. I want to show you some other things. Let's go. Let's come up to this spot. What can we say? The floor here, it requires a certain temperature. And as we are not connected to thermal connection lines, we have decided to make a temporary thing. You see, the box, the diesel, heater, and the rock cables here. They are spread here. Let's go have a look. Here we see electric heaters. Why? After having completed the work concerning the floor, builders will start mounting partitions. And these engineering parts will be disconnected from the main building. There is no other way. Not to heat them up, but to maintain a normal temperature for concrete there. It is to be there for 28 days. It is very difficult to come up with a different scheme. Now the temperature is good. It's been two weeks. Now it is the third week for the floors in many places. I think that they will become solid enough. But just in case we have that scheme, because utility lines are not yet connected here. We are now installing three thermal cannons, construction cannons, thermal ventilators in engineering sections, and hopefully we will be able to maintain the temperature. It's not that we hope we will do that. Technical requirements for temperature, they will be respected, they will be observed. And now we are coming up to a site where the finishing work will be completed. It is the 18th axis. We are coming up to it. What is characteristic of it? You see on the on this axis there are two columns. The deformation seal, the dividing seal is here. Unloading takes place here. Deformation, unloading. And on Tuesday, protection layer was poured here. And now let's move a little bit more. And we will see the volume of work which is being performed here in terms of preparation of pouring of the main concrete. Let's not hurry up for the cameraman to do his job properly. 
Let's stand so that you can see behind me. Sasha, let's turn around and there is concrete work going on here as well. Preparation of reinforcement and pouring of concrete. That will be a very voluminous work, voluminous pouring, the last one. And after that we will be able to state that the main work concerning formation of the floor will have been completed. It will happen very soon, but it's not yet happened. Let's come up to another very typical place. Very interesting spot. We have come up to a site. It doesn't look very grandiose. Here holes are covered, one spot and the second spot. They are spots for mounting high voltage transformers, 10, 0.4 kilovolts. Next to them, two more transformers. When it has been poured, everything will be ready for installing transformers. And let's come up to the spot where distribution devices will be mounted, special chambers, pouring of concrete is left to be done and then we will be able to mount distribution devices and transformers will be on our territory. All of that is related to engineering utility lines, engineering networks, a lot of preparation work is being performed to be able to supply energy here, energy and heat. And now we will come to another spot, another place. Let's get around. By the way, behind me, you can see grounding. It is put everywhere. Everything is monitored, everything is observed. While we're here, let's go have a look at another spot. Let's come up to it. Let's look. We will show it to you. It's here. Look, behind me we see boxes, pipes, a lot of everything. It is all engineering equipment that is to be installed there where it belongs. And heat supply, water supply of our building will be connected to this engineering equipment. One more step and we will start installation. One side is here, water supply and heat supply is there. We do it, we mount it, we install it. Let's move on. It is very pleasant to walk around when you don't have sand under your feet, but you have the floor, even smooth floor done in a very quality way. It is just a protection layer, but still, it is performed perfectly. It is very smooth, it is very even. It is very pleasant, very pleasant to see craftsmen's work when it is our domestic Russian craftsman. Sometimes they say we are not able of anything. That's not true. We are able. We are able to do quite quality things. Let's be careful here. One, two. Finally, we are not prisoners anymore. Colleagues, what is there behind my back? I will turn around. Oh, 
This construction it is a ramp for loading and unloading work. Yesterday they were filming and you saw that reinforcement was still being prepared, but today you see that full book work is completed. Concrete will be poured next week. Why have we intensified this work? It is that utility lines will partially go through this site. However, we need to add more ground here and it won't be possible. Because we won't be able to pour it because we needed to do reinforcement first and it has direct relation to engineering networks or utility lines. Let's move on. You see that the armed vehicle is waiting for the moment to enter the building. To perform all the engineering work, the equipment to which external utility lines will be connected must be in their place. Behind me you see split systems, big ones, that will be installed in this place. Because if we dig it, then we dig it. We need to place them there and then connect them when we do work here. To do both, here and there, to do all the volume, not to go back to it. If you dig it, you do it 100%. Why can't we do it now? It is excavated on that side. I won't tell you the reasons. No need, but it's a fact. If we dig it on this side, there won't be access here because it is violation of fire rules and so on. Now, let's turn around and let, let's look there behind my back. There is a huge warehouse there. A lot of interesting things are told about it. The question is that you know, if the ground, the ground which is being taken out, it is to be stored and then it is to be carried away from here. And in order to store it somewhere, we need to put it inside. And for that we need a floor. If we don't have the floor, we can't remove it there. We can't bring in the engineering equipment to store it here. We can't do it. So when people tell me, like, you don't do things properly, do it yourself, try it yourself. There is a certain sequence of operations. You close the thermal contour, then you do the floor. After that, you can do all the other work. And all this work then can be done in parallel. We are now on the spot where utility lines are to be laid. Let's move on. Actually, what is the correct way to do things? When construction is underway, first it is the zero cycle of all the work. What is the zero cycle? It is the foundation, it is put to zero and then all utility lines are connected. And then there is work performed on the site. And we do it, as always, you know, like there was a congress of doctors and they were speaking about transplantation of the heart, of the lungs, stem cells, the success of it, a lot of diseases, and then our doctors were to speak as well. And they said, and we removed tonsils and we have already achieved the survival rate of 7%. Everyone said, how so? How do you do that? Well, we put patients in the gynecological chair, then we use the expander and we take them off. This is how we do that, through that spot, you know? How are we different from them? We also have to do all of that through that spot, you know? Why? Initially, we were supposed to have all points of connection on the site. However, it has happened so that 
when we just entered this place. There was a forest that had actually grown here. We had to remove the forest, you remember the story very well. And then apart from that, we needed a lot of different validations and approvals, including those for utility lines, connection points, and that prolonged the process. It could be prolonged for three more years. Now they try to accelerate the process, like, why don't you respect the deadlines? You know, but we don't do that. When we received all the approvals, when all those commissions happened, approvals, validations, tests, it was so prolonged. And today you see very well that the tempo is ever growing. It is accelerating, despite everything. In these difficult times. But still, those others, they continue to teach us lessons. You know, to do things in violation of technical rules and so on, that would not be correct. Now we are approaching a very interesting spot where we have just stepped. This is where thermal pipeline is to be. Now we are approaching the spot where it was to be connected. Somewhere here. Great, isn't it? Here, right here. We were supposed to create a chamber here to equip it. Everything was calculated. And then they told us, no, this is not this spot, but it is that one. Can you see it? There. A little cabin. Can you imagine how much has been added? Let's walk over there. Let's walk a little bit, just to imagine how much it is in length. And all of that on this territory, asphalt and lawns that people were working on for quite a long time. All of that means labor, human labor, you know, as always, through, you know, that other spot, removing tonsils through that spot. Electric supply, electric power. Finally, here we are. Finally, here we are. Please show the place we have just come from. There it is. Our little hut. And look, how much additional work and all of that on this territory. And we want to embellish this territory. Do you think that that promotion was just a random thing? No, it wasn't. And can we change it now? Yes, we can. We can make additional hydraulic calculations to do the design for the chamber. However, the thermal pipeline is already there and we will only be able to connect it after the heating season. We have the connection point here, which can be used without switching off of thermal pipelines. What is left to do under this? Do you understand? So when they asked me, why did you follow that way? Well, because if we had done this piece of thermal pipeline there, the building would not have 
the floor, it would not have the walls. However, we closed the building, we closed the thermal contour, there is the equipment, we can mount it, we can install the engineering lines inside. We will use temporary heating for some time and we will focus on this work. And those others, they tell us, you have done everything wrongly. But we are not fools either and we are not naive. And when they start teaching us how to do it properly, you know, it is always so much clearer when you look at it from the outside, when you are not responsible for things. You can say whatever and do whatever. Because then you can always say, okay, well, we gave you that piece of advice and you just kept silent, you had to defend your stance. Well, you will always be to blame for everything. Well, guys, we will do everything that investors need. We will do everything for the project to develop, to be realized, to come true, and for us to use as little funds for that as possible. And you know, the sanctions which are accepted now and which try to cut off our foreign investors, it means that there is more load on Russian investors but it is in our hands. We will do everything that depends on us. Take your decision. If I had 500 billion rubles now, I would just use it. I would spend it without even thinking. Why? Because we have invested so much more. A great team, great group of people. Sometimes they say, why do so much people work for such small money? Because people believe in what they do. And our main point is the following. Earn on what we do, earn on what we produce, on the revenue. And now the builders and, you know, all that organizational work, there are a lot of perturbations happening, a lot of changes happening on the construction side. Everything is quite dynamic. You see it for yourself. And it will be even more interesting. So, colleagues, everything is in our hands. Counting on others, you know, listening to them, everyone will speak about what is in their interest. Everyone has their motives. We have one only motive. Finish the construction. We are to cover all this way, to correct what is needed, to finish what is needed, to remove all the failures, all the problems. All this work is to be done. And commissioning it in the first quarter, as they require it from us, I won't take on this responsibility. I can't guarantee it. We will now have a meeting in Technopolis. And the requirements there are the first quarter. However, how can I promise something which is not real, which is not realistic? We are realistic people. We base ourselves on what is real. We will do all our best. The project is to come true and is to bring us revenues. Thank you very much. Follow our news. We will share information with you very quickly. As you see, we don't hide anything. We speak about our problems. You know, speaking, saying that we don't have any problems would mean telling lies. Why have I now said it? Just not to tell lies and for you to understand why we had a promotion and why we need funds now to supply the building with heat. If we have the heat, then installation work will be at a much better pace. That is it. Stay safe.